hello welcome everyone to another tutorial in this tutorial we will learn how to implement stack in java so without wasting much of our time let's go into our netbeans so we will be using this worksheet as our major work environment for today and like i said earlier real life example stack is when you are you are typing something and when you are typing is called the pop type you can see that if i i backspace the last word i type will remove so let's say the typing is called push 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 and then the backspace is called pop 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 last in first out last in is g first out is g so that's how it is and then another example is when women are arranging their the plates they want to use and serve food we put the first one put the second one on it the third one the fourth one fifth one and so on then if they are to serve food now they won't go under and take uh, the last one instead is the last one that entered last they will still remove again to serve food you see so those are examples of stack like real life example another example is when um, you are typing and you press the control z the last action you take will remove you see so let's try and put this into programming and see how it goes so we'll be working with our class today and you know the more we go the other it becomes first thing we do is we we'll import a scanner and and then um, in this uh, class we we'll declare some variables So we'll be using array in this. I will call it stack. So we'll call the array stack. So we'll say it's equal to new string, and then let's say five. Five length of array. So we also need a variable known as uh, top and uh, we also need a variable known as uh, item so after that so our first thing we we'll do is that um, step one we we'll create a questionnaire that will ask the user if he wants to push or pop and then the second step is uh, to create a push function third step is to create a pop function and then the last step is to um, create a print function to print out the stack so this will say in pop is equal to Zero or let's say minus one. 
and last one. So let's start with the step one. We'll create a function public void. Uh, we'll call this questionnaire. And I will say system dot out dot print string press a what it is press a to push or b to pop so before that we have to use our scanner we we'll say scanner value is equal to new scanner system dot hmm. so we'll now say we'll now save anything the user input inside a variable called um option string option is equal to value dot uh, next so and I wanna say if non check if it is A or B if option contains A you should uh, call the push function else if option dot contains Um, B what happens B call the pop function so After that, we'll still call call the print function. See? No, we don't have to call the print function. We don't need to call it. So, in case the user go and input what is not A or B, what should happen? Else, system dot out dot print line in invalid option. So the only valid option here is just A or B. So if the user go and input anything like uh, C Z one to it will tell you invalid option then it will still ask you again if you want to so I'll, I'll call the questionnaire again to see ask you again if you want to um, pop or push so after this one, the next step is to call the push function. So how do we write the function now? So we say public void or name it push. How will it push now to push? item
um, string item. No, this one. So in this one now. So I will increase our top by one. You know here our top is minus one. You can see it here minus one. So if I add one to it now, it's not be zero. So now say stack stack, which is the array of top which is zero now is equal to item uh, just it I think that's all after that we'll now print the stack by calling the prints function so I will say print print I've not done function yet so but I'll still do it print after it prints I will still call the questionnaire again which I've done that one already so if I call it, it won't give me an error. You can see. So since I've done my push function here, I will call the push here if 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 the user select A, I'll call the push function here. But before I call the push function you should ask the user which item it wants to push print lane what item do you want to push so after after the user have input the item I'll store it in a variable called stack item it's equal to value dot uh, next so and then I'll now call I'll now call my push function and input the stack item Bam. so that is that about that for the push so our next step is to create the pop function so next step is to create the pop function public void pop I call it pop and then in this pop now we'll say data is equal to stack top String data, not just data, should be string data is equal to stack. So I'll say stack top is equal to nothing. Let me say null. Null means nothing also. And then after that, I will now reduce the top, top minus 
minus minus so after that I will now print the print the stack which I'll call my print function that I have not yet created to print and then the, after I print I will still call the questionnaire function which is questionnaire that was the first function I created so that is that about that and then our last step is to create the print function so I'll say public void print good see now there's no more error here and here so how do I print out now I'll say for before then I'll say j is equal to I mean int j is equal to um, zero and i is another way of of printing array so oh it's not supposed to be ints because our stack is string so it's a string i'll now say system dot out the print line I'll say j plus one concatenate it equal to plus i then before this one I will say if I is equal to null then I should equal to nothing so with this I'm good to go with this one I'm good to go so what we'll just do now is to call the questionnaire function in our main class we'll just say um how do we call it we will say questionnaire I'm not sure it will go it will go so what we'll do is we'll say we'll call the name of the class which is stack tutorial as the class name class name will say stack underscore tutorial um let's say let's call it um implement is equal to new stack underscore tutorial that's it open bracket I will now say implement dot questionnaire you see that is how we call this questionnaire function in our main main function if not so it won't work it will not work so let's try and see for error and see if we can 
play the error. So let's run it and see. Okay. Press A to push or pop. Let's try to push. A to push. What item do you want to push? Let's say um, school. Enter. Wow. Okay. It's showing us one 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 one. There's an error somewhere in our print function. I was supposed to increment the J, but I didn't. So under it, I will say J plus plus. Okay, let's try again. Let's try again. Let's stop this one and run again. A. What item do you want to push? Um, let's say school again. Uh, you can see it now. One, two, three, four, five. If you insert the first item, press A to push or B to pop again. I'll say um. Let's say B. Oh, you see. There are some errors I have to fix. Okay, as you can see, I did not call the pop function. That's why it's not popping. So I'll call the pop function. I'll say pop. That's all. Very easy. So let's try it again. Press A to A Mango. Let's pop the mango away. You see it. We'll pop it. Okay. Let's run it again. Press don't press C now. Invalid option. Press A to push or B. You see what I was saying? So let's see A push mango a to push what are we pushing school you can see a to push what are we pushing last post last put tech you can see a to push what are we pushing worry we yeah, are let's pop that money away from there. Oh, yeah, oh, that body get out. See it. We have pop away. Worry. Let him go. Let him just go. Let him, let him leave us alone. <laughs> so, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you learned something in this video. <coughs> Don't forget. Our first step is to create all the variables we'll be needing. Then, our second step is to create the questionnaire function. Our third step is to create the push function. Fourth step is to create the pop function. And then the last step is to create the print function. So there are many other things that can do, which we might be showing on our next video, such as a uh, pick, as to check if the stack is full or empty. So that should be for our next class. Thank you guys for watching this video, and always remember to subscribe to my channel, please. I beg you. Alright, bye.